Hello, and welcome to High Stakes Blind Tasting. My name is Ed O'Mara, and today I'm going to have to guess three whiskeys in under a minute and a half for each. Otherwise, I get shot point blank in the nipple with this Nerf gun. Let's do it. <laughs> Erica is on the clock. She's she's standing behind the camera right now. She will also be doing the shooting. I have three whiskeys here. I have a minute and a half after I pick up the whiskey to guess exactly what it is. I can't just guess, oh, it's an Isla or it's a bourbon. It has to be the brand, the particular expression. Um, if I don't get it in a minute and a half, Erica's gonna come over here and point blank, shirt off, no protection, shoot me in the nipple. Now, originally, I thought we should put thumbtacks on the end, and she could shoot me, and but she vetoed that idea. Your nips are already sensitive enough. I know. Um, but yeah, so, you ready with the clock, sweetie? Yeah. All right. Tell me when you're ready. Don't hold it up. Okay, okay. So right. you, you count us down. All right. Getting ready in five, four, three, two, one, go. I'll okay. turn it so you can see the timer. Okay. And we'll have a timer up in the editing. It smells pretty sweet. It smells American. Or Canadian, maybe? It's not, it doesn't smell like malt. Oh, that's a rye. That's a slightly sweeter rye. Um, it's got a little bit... Quite a bit of anise, a little bit of pickle. Mm -hmm. A lot of pickle. A lot of pickle, actually. Especially on the finish. A lot of pickle and a lot of anise and just a hint of stone fruit. Not a lot of barrel there. Um, I'm thinking it's got to be a higher proof rye. My choices right now, knowing what we have around here, it's either going to be Driftless Glen or Willet. But I'm gonna lean towards Driftless Glen. Ah, damn it. Oh, how much time do I have? Not much, I don't think. Um. 10 seconds. Mm. Seven. All right, I'm going, I'm going Old, no, I'm gonna go Old Petrero. That's my last guess. Old Petrero, 18th century style. How'd I do? Do you want to wear your shirt or have it off? No, it's got to be off. What was it? Young, Driftless Glen Young Rye. Oh, I was so close. All right, so come close. over here. Come here. Right. Come here. All right, let's start with Lefty. All right. Just point blank. Point blank. Ready? Yep. Look into the camera. Ah! Ah, I was so close to guessing Driftless Glen too. I was so close, and then the last minute I was like, Old Petrero, because it's got the fucking, fucking uh, uh, fruity notes. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, that stings, but it's not. Whew, I'm glad we didn't put the thumbtacks on there. Whew, I didn't, I wasn't gonna put them sharp side out. It's just gonna be the dull side, obviously. You have the most sensitive <laughs> nips. All right, are you reloaded? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, ready? Right, going in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. Okay, it's smoky. That's an Isla. It's an Isla or it's a peated scotch. There's a hint of sweet there. It's not big sweet, though. It's just, that's kind of maritime-y. It's really nice though. It's caramely, but not overly sweet. Very maritimey. Kind of bacony. Hmm. I'm leaning towards Ardbeg. I'm leaning towards Ardbeg right now. Off the top of my head. I don't think it's Kilhoman. It's not quite that big, super punchy smoke. 
So they're more ashy, earthy, bacony, meaty. And just a touch of maritimeness. Now, I know we don't have any Laphroaig in the house, so that's a that's a nice benefit. 30 seconds. Mm. It can't be our big black. It doesn't have that that wine finish. I'm Oh, could it be a kill home though? Oh my god, that doesn't that makes me nervous. It doesn't taste like any of the Kilhomas we have. Okay, I'm going our big supernova. You sure? Yes. You had three seconds left. You have to get shot in the nip. It was Ardbeg Black. Ah, I didn't taste the wine. I didn't taste the wine. Oh, I didn't get that. Shit. All right. Guess we'll do the right one this time. All right. All right. Get up in there. Get up in there. Okay. Ready? Yep. With the camera. Okay. Oh, that misfired. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta push the dart back in. Here, I got gotcha. you. There you are. Good on you being honest. Yeah. All right. Wait, right, wait, right, wait. Right. Get it up in there. That's not as bad as last time. Make a funny noise. It's, it's not, not as bad, bad as last time. That one actually didn't hurt so bad. You want to get a second shot? Yeah, we might as well. No. Give for the people what they want. No. <laughs> I have very sensitive nips. All right. All right, last one. Last one. You've been coming close on all these. I know, I know. I was so close on that last one. I was so close. I definitely didn't taste the wine finished though. That's why I didn't guess black. Okay, my nips are really sore. <laughs> yeah, let's spare your nips and punishment here. Okay, all right. Oh, all right, keep all my right. hand off it. All right, in five, four, three, two, one, go. Whoa, okay, I don't know what the hell this is. It smells like, it smells really weird. Oh my God, I have no idea. Would you like a hint? No, no hints, no hints. We do this honest, we gotta do this honest. Is this Wyoming? No? Okay. It's not Wyoming. I, what? What is this? It smells really weird. Okay, I guess it's probably a bourbon, but I don't know which one. The reason I said Wyoming is it has a really weird orchard fruit taste. 30 is it, seconds. Wait, is it in... It's not as bad as Wyoming, though. It's not as, like, prickly fucking uh, uh, mineral spirits. So it's got to be some sort of weird bourbon that would have a really orchardy taste. I'm going to go with Old Elk. I'm thinking Old Elk. Because it's a high malt content. Five seconds left. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to guess that it's Old Elk Sour Mash. That's, that's my guess. You've been spared. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, that threw me off. That threw me off a lot. Old Elk doesn't taste like your regular, a lot of your light regular bourbons. Yeah. Okay, two shots to the nipples, not so bad. That is pretty, they're pretty sore though. Oh man, I'm glad we didn't do the steel tips like I wanted. Oh, okay, well, that has been High Stakes Blends. We'll figure out something else to do for the next one. Let us know if you want me to keep shooting Eddie in the nipples. I feel like my nipples can't take this every week, sweetie. We're Let me know to... if I should shoot him in the dick. That works too. We'd have to get something stronger. My dick's stronger than my nipples. I won't make a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And... Stay rotten. Stay super rotten.